How do you explain this? Why the Hawks are so much better at State Farm Arena, the farmhouse? Well, on the road, your defense is what, defense and rebounding is what wins on the road, and their defense hasn't been as good. Wow. So the, the big news here is, is Trey has kind of popped here. He's starting to shoot the ball a little better. He's feeling better, but they're going to be without DeAndre Hunter for two months. I, I just feel for the organization, but more importantly, DeAndre Hunter, fantastic defender, young guy. His offense was starting to come, and you talk about a wrist injury. That's going to set him back, but I know he's going to put in the work. He's that type of professional, but he was starting to come around. Once he, once he plays and gets in the rhythm, you're seeing more offensive flow to his game, but I think defensively where he makes his mark, his size help, and his outside shooting has also been a plus for the Atlanta Hawks. Well, now there's an opportunity for someone, right? Yeah. You hate to see a young guy get hurt, especially a young developing guy, the right hand, wrist, the shooting hand. But who's going to step up? Herder, Reddish. Is Lou Williams going to mm -hmm. get more minutes now? We sure. know he can play. We know he can score. It's probably going to come down to who can guard. Mm -hmm. You know, who can guard better? They need defense. Uh, I'm sure Nate's wanting them to play better defense as a team and individually. So we'll see who steps up. Well, Trey needs to step up, and he has been. Yeah, he has. I mean, uh, it's so much pressure on him. I mean, you can't have average games. And you see the talent right here. That class of, in this class of Luka Doncic and LeBron James, most games with 40, 10, and 5 rebounds before turning 24. Talent. But I think him and Nate Millen have such a great uh, chemistry between coach and best player and point guard. You can see the uh, 